my dear students uh, i am dc patil i am going to discuss uh, uh, in this session uh, about uh, the poem uh, mother to son written by langston hughes who belongs to uh, 20th century uh, literary history that he lived from 1902 to 1967 uh, <clears throat> let us first uh, uh, think about what syllabus you have that we discussed in the last uh, session that in uh, the syllabus we do have three parts uh, section a b and c section a is poetry and there are five poems and uh, this one is uh, one of the five poems okay then uh, <coughs> what we are going to learn uh, in this poem uh, what objectives do we have to discuss this poem or to read this poem or to study this poem the objective is uh, you are supposed to understand the poet first uh, <coughs> and then on the basis of the poet's uh, life in brief or the background of uh, the poet's uh, life we can go to the text of the poem so that we can understand the text very well with the help of uh, the poet's background uh, because uh, Langston Hughes has recorded uh, his experience of life in America uh, in uh, the society dominated by the white community. Uh, and also uh, here we are supposed to understand, uh, find out what difficulties uh, the speaker or the poet uh, might have faced as a, a black individual in American society. So these are the things to be understood. Uh, these are the things to be pondered over uh, as we go and read this poem. <coughs> Let me first uh, give an introduction to this. Uh, 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 let me give you an account of uh, uh, the poet before we uh, go to uh, <coughs> the poem. See, the poet is uh, an Afro-American poet is an Afro-American and uh, he spent his life in uh, uh, <coughs> Mexico. He spent his uh, uh, childhood and his youth life in Mexico. He grew up in uh, a ghetto, means he grew up in streets, means he grew up in poverty. Uh, he spent a year of his lifetime in Columbia University. Uh, later he served as a merchant seaman and also he served in a Paris nightclub. When we see this kind of a background of this poet, we can understand what kind of difficulties he should have faced. Uh, he showed his uh, poems. He had that habit of writing poems even at his earlier stage of his life. Uh, he showed, he brought his poems to be noticed by uh, Dr. Alan Locke. Uh, he was uh, the supporter of uh, Afro-American literature. Uh, <coughs> he returned to United States and he continued his uh, uh, writing. 
he continued his contribution to literature he is a versatile uh, writer versatile uh, literateur uh, because he didn't only write uh, the poems he also wrote fiction uh, plays essays and biographies uh, in in different genres he produced literature and that's why he said he is a versatile uh, writer he contributed a lot to uh, the history of english literature he was also a columnist he used to write uh, for a periodical called harlem renaissance in 1920s uh, in all his writings if uh, you go through you will see his uh, concern uh, his uh, concern dedicated concern his honest concern of upliftment of his people his people i mean the black people negroes the uh, the, the black race of the people because uh, they were uh, suffering they were uh, oppressed and they were exploited and they were ill treated and they were denigrated they were degraded and they were treated as second rate citizens and this was the condition in which the black people were uh, living and that's why uh, looking at the condition the predicament of uh, the black people's uh, life he had a, 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 an honest concern to uplift uh, the black people and also he has uh, uh, recorded the strength of the black people in his writings he has recorded the courage of the black people and uh, he has recorded the resilience of black people and also he has recorded humor as the black as an afro american he has pride he is uh, proud of being afro american he is proud of being uh, the afro american identity and its uh, diverse culture i think as for the poet is concerned uh, what i told about him uh, seems to be sufficient uh, to go to the text and to try to understand the text uh, <coughs> with this background of the poet see uh, first of all means before we read the actual lines of the text of the poem let me give you an introduction to the poem uh, the poem which has the title um, mother to son here it is uh, a monologue uh, mother uh, gives an advice to her son Uh, this poem can be interpreted generally uh, as uh, it is a casual uh, advice of a mother to her son as every mother advises her son it is one level of the understanding of the poem it is one level of the meaning of the poem <clears throat> as the text reads so we can understand uh, a general meaning that any mother Uh, it need not be the mother of a black uh, any mother for that matter advises her son in the same way so this is one level uh, of uh, the understanding of the poem but the understanding of the poem uh, should not be limited to uh, only one level of the meaning you can interpret this poem uh, from the point of view of racism because racism uh, had been uh, the burning problem with uh, uh, the height of its magnitude 
and that's why uh, it was uh, very much discussed in most of the writings of uh, most of the uh, writers uh, <coughs> uh, uh, throughout uh, the history of uh, american english literature <coughs> uh as the uh with the view point of racism you, if we discuss this poem we can see and observe the problems uh, like oppression and exploitation and also hardships that uh, the black people uh, <coughs> go with and uh, uh, the problems they uh, ha have to encounter Uh, in their life all these can be observed in uh, this poem uh, <coughs> then let me uh, tell you the poem uh, can be interpreted in different ways uh, path of life with frequent ordeals because anybody's life cannot be the life of uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, flower flowery bed or flowery uh, ways flowery uh, paths uh, because life itself is something uh, mixed uh, one it is of of uh, happiness as well uh, <coughs> uh, sadness so path of life uh, usually uh, has the frequent ordeals uh, usually Uh, no comforts will be granted on their own in everybody's life uh, but here we see that whatever happens in our life we should not get back from our uh, <coughs> uh, uh, hard work from our effort we should go ahead even when we feel that uh, uh, we fail we should not uh, get back we should move ahead and that is the message that we see in this poem and also it's the responsibility of an individual to search for paths even in darkness to move ahead instead uh, we shouldn't uh, leave our incessant strife so this is uh, uh, what we can <coughs> understand in this poem see uh here as an introduction i told you this poem can be understood with uh, the view point of racism racism has all these problems exploitation of the black difficulties of life of the black community and hopelessness uh <coughs> in their lives and all this this mother advises to her son uh life is not so easy because she has her own experience and that experience she presents in front of her uh, son and uh, with the presentation of her life she advises her son and while presenting her life she presents some of the difficulties some of the images are uh, used here in this poem those are uh <clears throat> the symbols of uh, uh, the difficulties in her life and also this life doesn't welcome uh, us with uh, a red carpet because uh, we have to get into this life and we have to uh, face all uh, the difficulties and we have to win and we have to reach the success and it is our responsibility the life itself doesn't uh, uh, lay the path doesn't lay the paths for us with uh, uh, red carpet and uh, uh, here and there uh, some of the landings will be available uh, for uh, taking rest but we should not waste our time uh, only in taking rest forgetting the future uh, uh, <coughs> promises to be fulfilled by us in our life so these are the things that uh, <coughs> mother advises in this poem now uh, let us uh, uh, read the poem then we can uh, go uh, with different points of views 
so reading of the poem will uh, make us uh, very uh, familiar with uh, uh, the thoughts that are put in uh, that uh, the, the, the thoughts of the poet or the speaker uh, in this poem though here the mother speaks but these are the thoughts of the poet uh, that is the voice of the poet but he has made uh, that uh, expression of his thoughts through the mouth of a mother and with the intention that the mother's voice appeals uh, better and it penetrates the hearts of uh, the younger generation so that uh, the younger generation will uh, uh, be influenced by this advice uh, with this intention here the mother is made to speak uh, to her son and in other way we can understand the mother's advice to her son is a representative voice of a mother advises the whole younger generation of the black community the representative voice of a mother advises the whole younger generation of the black community because mother is a symbol of experience mother is a symbol of history of the whole community in which history the whole community has undergone lots of pains lots of sufferings lots of grievances and how to come out of those ordeals and she has got a lot of experience she wants to transfer that experience uh, to her younger generation and out of that experience she tries to teach her younger generation as to move ahead even after we are ill treated to move ahead even after we are very much pained we are very much exploited we should not get back we should not stop we should not uh, <clears throat> uh, hinder Uh, so that is uh, what this mother tries to tell us uh, or that is what the speaker tries to tell us through the voice of uh, the mother so let us read the text and then we can discuss other view points see here uh, mother advises her son the text begins reads like this well son i will tell you life for me hasn't been no crystal stay son it's all right i will tell you please listen to me that this life is not so easy it is not crystal stay it is not so easy it is not so clear sometimes it is difficult sometimes it is ununderstandable there is a lot of difficulty to understand this life and that's why try to understand this life with lots of efforts life for me aren't been no crystal stair here there is a grammatical mistake aren't been See, this grammatical mistake is made intentionally by the poet. Why? Let us discuss that after uh, we complete the reading of the text. It has had tax in it, so life is not so easy, not so clear. Life is very difficult. Life is uh, very tough, and life is very mysterious. Not easy to understand. it is not clear it is difficult because it is very uh, uh, painful because the path of life has tax tax means uh, some sharp thorns uh, sharp uh, pieces that will prick our foot if we walk putting our steps upon them so the path of life is uh, full of tax so if we move uh, ahead in 
that path those tacks will prick and our foot will bleed it has had tacks in it and splinters splinters see the pieces of uh, glass the pieces of uh, <coughs> uh uh wood or metal or glass would be uh, scattered here and there on the way of our life uh, when we move we are supposed to uh, tread those uh, splinters and usually the pieces of glass or pieces of metals are very much sharp if they uh, cut out our uh, foot will bleed to uh, greater difficulties we may be uh, bleeding to death so such splinters are scattered over there on the way of our life and boards torn up boards see boards made up of uh, tin the torn up pieces of boards are scattered here and there and they will also cause some wound uh, on our foot if we walk upon them and places with no carpet on the floor bare see and places with no carpet this life is so difficult and this life is so tough and mysterious and not so easy to understand because it has tacks it has uh, splinters it has uh, bolts torn up and at the same time there is nobody to welcome us with a red carpet there is nobody to welcome us with a red carpet and that's why this life has become very very tough and very very painful but on the on the other side for the white see life is full of facilities full of comforts and they have been sanctioned uh, rights they have been sanctioned power and they have been sanctioned economic development but that is not there for us and that's why this life is very difficult and nobody is there to welcome us by laying down the red carpet but all the time i has been a uh, climbing on but all the time i know this life is very difficult and not clear and it is very mysterious and it is very difficult i know it very well but still throughout my life i have never stopped moving ahead i have never stopped climbing up and up until i reach the mainstream i never stopped trying hard to do something meaningful in my life to uh, identify my, myself in this society i have never stopped i have uh, been uh, climbing on see here once again a grammatical mistake is committed by the poet very intentionally i has been a uh, climbing on that that sentence i has been so why this uh, mistake grammatical mistake is committed there is an intention let us discuss that later and reaching landings see Uh, to reach the high position to reach the mainstream in the society we have to climb up we have to go up go ahead as well go up so to move up we require the staircase usually a staircase will have a landing after few steps and then a turning and after few more steps we can reach the floor in the high uh, uh, position the floor in the high position we can reach after the landing and turning and when that landing comes see so i also tried hard to get up in my life get on in my life and i moved up i climbed up and uh, after few steps i uh, trod i found a landing and also after that landing there is a turning usually if a landing comes 
immediately there would be a turning to another direction to go up with a few more steps to reach the top floor of the main stream and turning corners after landings there shall be a turning corners and sometimes going in the dark see the life for the white people is full of light is full of light because light is not just light here life for the white people is full of light because they are economically strong they are educationally strong they are politically powerful they are culturally forward they are uh, <coughs> in in all the ways they have uh, I, they have been ahead of us and that's why life for the white is full of light but life for us the dark people it is full of darkness when we move ahead our life is filled with darkness but where to go in the darkness is a very difficult task because we cannot find the path of life so easily as the white people find and if we feel afraid of moving into the darkness we will have to get back from uh, our life and don't do that mother advises her son don't do that even though there is darkness you go you rush into the darkness let us see where that life will take us to and sometimes going in the dark where there aren't been no light see once again a grammatical mistake is committed here where there aren't been no light as long as there is no light so long let us move and move where that life takes us we shall go up to where that the life itself takes us let us go don't stop don't be inactive don't get back don't be afraid of darkness because it is my own experience as i have trodden my life into the darkness as i have trodden my life into darkness so you have to move ahead once you should have some hope in you once there will be light welcoming you once there will be light it may be far away from you and when you go near and near and nearer that light you will see and there you can really enter into the life of light and that's why you have to work hard you have to suffer you have to face the difficulties you have to uh, go into the life which is not clear not uh, uh, so easy it is full of mysteries so boy don't you turn back so life is like this it's my own experience that's why don't turn back life itself is like this for we the people who are black just for the reason that we are black life is difficult life is made difficult by this white society but we should not turn back we should not stop we should not stop going ahead in our life so boy don't you turn back don't you sit down on the steps just because there is darkness ahead just because there is a landing don't think that it is an opportunity to sit down there forever to take a permanent rest if you do so then you will stop living in this world that's why don't turn back and also don't take rest sitting on the steps or sitting in the landing because you find so it is kind of hard finds just because you find it it is find this life is very hard just because you find this life is very unbearable intolerable don't stop moving ahead you should go ahead even facing even encountering all these challenges 
though it is uh, unbearably painful though it is intolerably painful don't be afraid don't turn back don't take rest sitting on the steps or landings you move ahead nothing will happen you will get success don't you fall now as you have been living you have already trodden a uh, lots of uh, steps and you have already gone a greater distance and thereafter you need not be afraid uh, thereafter you need not be afraid don't you fall now don't you stumble down don't you fall down get up and move ahead for i has still going honey look at me i am of this age that i have given birth to you but still i am striving hard still i am moving ahead even with lesser strength in my body lesser confidence in my soul still i am moving moving ahead with all these difficulties that's why take me as an example you don't stop moving ahead i am still climbing still i am climbing and climbing but i have not yet reached the top floor that is the main stream in the society still i am unable to join that uh, mainstream just because at this time i failed to reach that uh, mainstream i am not disappointed i have not stopped uh, investing my effort to reach that uh, mainstream i have still uh, climbing and life for me aren't been no crystal stair see once again the grammatical mistakes so life for me was also not so easy was also not so clear it was also very difficult very tough very mysterious ununderstandable painful full of darkness but still i am moving and moving and climbing and climbing up to reach the top floor to join that mainstream but i have not been still successful but still i have not been successful but i have never stopped moving ahead and the same thing you have to do and i hope and you should keep hope in you that once you will really reach that aim once you really reach that place that you have aimed at okay so this is what the mother advises her son so as you listened to uh, this explanation of the lines how did you uh, take this poem and how would you take this poem with different points of views see here in the uh, slide life will give us turning points here uh, the mother tells him that life is like climbing up to the top floor through the staircase while climbing up to the top floor to through the staircase we will have to uh, move on few steps after few steps there shall be a landing and immediately after landing comes we will uh, take the turn and once again we move through the steps and uh, after so many uh, landings and uh, uh, turnings we will reach the top floor but mother says i have not still reached that top floor here that the top floor means the mainstream in the society sometimes there shall be no light so we have to move ahead with the, the light of our experience of life that we have the experience of our life and that should be 
like light that guides us we will have to move ahead with the help of our experience and don't stop so all this she advises so out of this what we can uh, learn of this poem see you will be able to analyze this poem critically so if a question is asked to uh, appreciate the poem critically you can uh, <clears throat> take all these points and explain on the basis of the text that you went through so you go through the text once again after this session is over you go through the text you read the lines of the text repeatedly for many more times with uh, comprehension with uh, uh, meaning understanding the meaning of the lines then uh, you 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 may uh feel uh that you can explain the different view points on uh, this poem see here uh recite this poem with a poetic tone so that is also very important uh, student studying a poem should also know how to read a poem with a poetic tone and you <coughs> you should uh, familiarize with the lines by reading the lines repeatedly because it helps you to annotate the lines in the examination how to annotate let me tell you in the next uh, <coughs> session and uh, you will be able to interpret the poem in different ways because after you read the textual lines here and there some evidences you will find to interpret that poem in your own ways the same evidence may not be the evidence for others but you may take one image or one uh, factor or one uh, <coughs> uh, source out of that poem to uh, view that poem in different ways approach that poem in different ways so that is also very important Uh, on this some of the uh, multiple choice questions are framed here you can just uh, go through those multiple choice questions you can answer on the basis uh, uh, of what i presented <coughs> in this session see langston hughes belongs to <coughs> uh, which uh, country or which community he belongs to jamaica no he belongs to only afro or uh, uh, america he is an afro american living in america okay next uh, mother to son poem uh, is suggestive of uh, uh, these uh, <coughs> things racism is it racism only uh, difficulties only or courage racism and oppression yes it has uh, racism and oppression that was uh, played upon uh, the black people that's why d is the answer and then you see the mother advises to her son her nephew uh, her daughter herself to whom to her son c is the answer and the poem is in the form of is it an elegy or is it uh, Uh, an ode or is it a monologue or is it an epic it is a monologue because a single voice is there that speaks to her son there is no uh, reply it is not in the form of conversation that's why it is a monologue and what are the images of uh, ordeals in the poem see if you go through that poem you will see some of the images which show that uh, they are the ordeals they are the problems they are the difficulties they are the hurdles in uh, the life of uh, uh, the black individual they are taxes splinters so board torn up all the above yes all the above is the answer because all these are mentioned in the poem and that's why all the above is the answer <coughs> you can uh, uh, <coughs> write 
the theme of the poem in your own uh, words in uh, one or two pages that uh, <coughs> might be the assignment for you and you can refer uh, the book uh, textbook prescribed by our university that is uh, literary perceptions and also you can go to youtube uh, links there some of the speakers uh, uh, have presented their speech on the poem uh, with uh, this much i would like to put an end to my presentation thank you thank you one and all